Hey guys, this is Otaku O'Neill here and welcome to my forge. So in my last video, I've given you all a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to piece together the entire inner frame for this perfect grade model kit for Gundam 00 Exia. Everything except for the arms and shoulders, but in this video I'm including that footage for that part of the project right now. This process also includes the installation of the Bandai LED unit. I really took my time with this, taking every possible precaution to make sure that there were no setbacks or mistakes in the end. Also in this video, I'm presenting a step-by-step -step process for custom painting and weathering for the action base that comes included with this model kit. There's also the custom LED lights, which I also installed into the action base, and that part of the project was very tedious. So anywho, back to what I was saying about the inner frame arm units. Piecing it all together was a little tricky for me because you have to do it all in the correct order. But that is primarily because of the Bondi LED unit that fits perfectly inside of this inner frame endoskeleton. So be sure to carefully follow the step-by-step -step instruction manual that comes included with the Bondi LED unit. And I'm sure that some of you have had figured this out already, but I did custom prime and paint the entire inner frame to improve the overall look of this thing. I still have to paint the hand attachments, though there are five different pairs of hands, including one that has fully articulated thumbs and fingers. There are those that I have to paint in a nice gunmetal color and the remaining inner frame parts for the weapons, GN sword and shield. The clear parts for the Bondi LED lights worked out really well. You have one clear piece that goes inside of the upper arm, and you also have to add foil stickers inside so that more light can be amplified. I also love that silicon strip along the shoulder and how bright it looks once you fire up the LED light in that area. The posability and articulation is great for the shoulders, elbows, and wrists. I just had to do some minor sanding and smoothing in one of the connecting peg pieces. So in the end, everything pieced together beautifully and the entire Bondi LED unit works marvelously. And it's going to look even better with a custom action base that houses additional custom LED lights, which is really going to make this model look cool. Now, the action base itself is by far the largest piece in this entire kit. So when you custom prime and paint this thing, be sure to take your time and avoid oversaturating any areas so that everything dries quickly and evenly. And just like I mentioned in my last video, you don't want to go too close or too far when spraying the surface. Three to four inches and in short controlled bursts. You want to make sure that everything dries evenly within 20 minutes. After that, apply the first spray coat of the Tamiya Gunmetal Color. Because this is a lacquer-based paint, it, it's usually a better idea to apply at least two coats in order to get that full effect of the metallic look. So after you apply the first spray coat, let it sit and dry for 20 minutes, then add a second coat and that should do it. Now for the weathering process, I used a clever technique in making this action base look, look as if it was cast out of solid iron. And I did that by using a silver metallic Gundam marker for detailing the cracks, edges, and recessed areas all around the surface of the action base and armature piece. In the next phase of this project, I went ahead and added 10 mega-size LED lights. 
But first I had to drill tiny holes in specific areas where I knew I was going to be able to glue and secure the lights along the backside. And the best type of glue to use for that is Bob Smith Industries Extra Thick Super Glue, combined with an accelerant solution, which will speed up the drying process of the glue in seconds rather than minutes. I definitely took my time when gluing the LED lights on the backside one by one because all of the wires are 14 inches long. So I had to secure and organize all of that wiring by gluing the LED wires in specific areas while getting it all to funnel to the same area where you connect the positive negative wires to a power supply that includes an on and off switch. You also have to use shrink tube when making the connections and then use a heat source from something like a Zippo lighter, but I typically use crock lighters, which are more convenient. You can purchase those online through a website like amazon.com. Now for the power supply, I decided to use a AA battery holder to supply power to these LEDs. This thing is wired to a female connector outlet and basically all you do is plug in a male connector outlet, then you connect the positive negative wires on the other end of the positive negative wires connected to all of the LED lights in the action base. Very simple and straightforward and using Evan Design's LED lights are that easy to use. Now, the other supplies that I use to get this type of work done are, of course, measuring cups to add the super glue that I need, and then I use a special Tamiya swab stick to add glue to a specific area where I want my LED lights to be placed. Then I use another swab stick to hold the LED light in position while I add a few drops of the accelerant solution to speed up the drying process. Now, when assembling this action base, I had to be extra careful when properly funneling the Bandai LED wires through the inner frame piece of the armature. Also, I had to make sure that the Bandai LED lights wouldn't conflict with the custom LED lights inside the action base. But everything worked out successfully in the end, thank goodness.
And just like that, ladies and gents, we are done with part three of this amazing custom build for the 160th scale perfect grade Gundam 00 Exia. But be sure to stay tuned for my next video where I will be custom painting the red, white, and blue armored pieces for this mobile suit as well as parts for the weapons and shield. And of course, if you like my video content, please be sure to post and share your thoughts and comments down below, smash that like button, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching everyone, and I will see you on the next video.